And we're joined by David Duty, the artistic director behind this project, looking beautiful here in the alley behind uh, St. Paul. Tell us a little bit about how it came together. Oh, yeah, I'd love to. This project was a partnership, a community partnership with CTQ Engineering and UBC uh, Critical and Creative Studies. Uh, and basically what it is is that CTQ Engineering is a local engineering uh, firm that has a long-standing commitment to environmental sustainability and they're really big proponents of supporting uh, education in uh, engineering and, and the UBC campus. They came up with this idea that they wanted to support the visual arts as well. They're like, hey, let's get into the, to doing a visual art project. And that was the seed that kind of grew into this large muraling class. And, and what we see behind us is the product of the muraling class we ran this summer. This wall behind me was very bland. So we thought, well, it'd be really cool to have a mural on it. So what else better than to do some education? And we spoke to UBCO and a, a course um, was developed from that. And I'm very proud to say it's the, the first uh, university mural painting course in Canada uh, and we were the sponsors uh, of the of the course and, and how do you like the, the final result it's amazing it, it's way it, it exceeded every expectation in every sense um, and, and to see the students painted over a, a month uh, was uh, pretty incredible um, they worked in conditions that I've seen construction workers not work in and uh, their, their sort of dedication and, and effort that they put into it was, was amazing and as you can see, uh, you know, you look at the eye of that fish, it stares back at you, there, there's some real character to this. Believe it or not, there's, there's, in some of these colours there's seven to eight coats of paint on it. Um, you know, the intricate detail of, of what they've gone to is, is pretty phenomenal on the scale that it's at. Should people then expect to see other walls that are currently boring turning into art the way this one has? Yeah, that's it. we should definitely expect that. We should demand that. We should all be looking for that. We should want, I mean, what should, I can't say what other people should want, but I want, and as a community who enjoys fine art and, and public painting, we should want more. We should ask for more. We should look for more. What we have is a giant psychedelic salmon swimming in front of one of these canary yellow Archimedes pumps. And it's a salmon is something that's very really important to our local communities and stands as a symbol of environmental stability uh, and sustainability worldwide, uh, fish and salmon stocks. So it's something that a lot of people from the community can look at, they recognize, they see its art, and then they start to think about things, they start to feel good about it. So that's that's a little bit about that. And you were saying beforehand that you don't have a name for this yet, and I think you might have just said it there, psychedelic salmon. Yeah, that's kind of <laughs> I like it, okay, it's psychedelic salmon. This is our new uh, mural called the Slammin' Salmon. No, but yeah, the psychedelic salmon really is it. Might be great. Yeah. All right, David Duty, thanks for coming. Yeah, thanks so much. I appreciate you guys coming down and supporting the arts. It's such a, it's so nice to see the community voice coming down to help us out in supporting this. Thank you.